So my name is Kate Oxman. I'm 31 years old. I'm from the United States. Grew up outside of Washington, D.C., and I lived in La La Land for the last eight years. La La Land is Los Angeles because it is a land of um, dreams. We'll put it like that. Before the course, I was living in Los Angeles, and I was working in entertainment, in photography. I was doing both actor headshots and corporate photography, as well as doing animal conservation from that side. So getting involved with conservation in South Africa for Ellie's Rhino and Lion from like through social media. And I was also volunteering weekly for Wildlife Sanctuary. So I worked with big cats. Um, it's funny, passion for nature, I guess it was just an inherent thing in me because I didn't really grow up it with it with my family. Um, but my brother and I, we had a big backyard in Maryland and we used to constantly every day go play in our creek and just stomp around, find little fishes or crayfish or things like that. Um, but truthfully, my passion for nature and wildlife really comes from my religion or my spirituality. And I believe that we all have a right to life and I want to be a part of working within the ecosystem of life and preserving life in the world. I don't want to be a part of the problem, I want to be part of the solution. And it gives me purpose and I love that. So. One of the reasons that I chose to do the year-long program with Eco Training, aside from many other reasons, was that I wanted support, I wanted structure, and I wanted to learn. And I knew that a company like Eco Training would give me both the support, again, and the structure to help me figure everything out this year. And I've had that, and I appreciate it, and it has grounded me, um, and it's helping me figure things out. Not there yet, but it's helping me. Essentially in every single way. It sounds cheesy and it sounds corny, but my whole life I feel like has blossomed and I have blossomed as a person. I'm gonna cry now um, because of this course and because of being here, being able to have time with myself to really see who I am and to challenge myself and to push myself and to meet like-minded people and not feel like such a weird nature person out in the world. And it's great being surrounded by people who want to talk about termites. You know, you see it, an elate coming out of the ground, and I want to bend down and look at it, and the bushveld rain frog eating it, and I think it's the most fascinating thing I've ever seen, and other people do, and it's, it's amazing to be surrounded by like-minded people who really share the main passion that I have in life. One of the most incredible things that has happened since I've been here is I feel like I'm growing into the woman that I've been chasing for years. I've grown a lot more confident in myself as a person, grown more confident in myself as a woman, I feel more grounded, I feel more present than I ever have in my entire life. The days are long and short at the same time because I'm actually in each moment and I'm not thinking of my random to-do list that I would have back at home. Um, I'm happier than I've ever been. I feel like I'm glowing. And you know, when I went home to see my family for my sister's wedding, everybody was just thinking, oh my gosh, you seem so happy and you've never looked so good. Almost like, what's wrong with her? She's like. Is she okay? She's too happy. We're not used to this. Um, yeah, I feel like this has just given me the space to blossom. <laughs> it sounds so cheesy. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I... It's funny, coming into the bush and living in this military style shapeless clothing. Um, I've actually never felt more beautiful or sexier. And it's because I've never felt more capable, more like myself, and just more natural. And it's funny that I had to come to this very survival-based environment, very male-dominated environment, to, to feel that way. I've pushed myself past boundaries that I didn't even really know existed, whether it's changing a tire in one of the game drive vehicles, or guiding in one of those game drive vehicles, lots of it involves machinery. Mark taught me how to weld. Never my, I was underneath a Land Rover one time fixing things. Like, did I ever think this was gonna happen? No, but can I do it? Yes, I can. Um, and it's empowering. It makes me feel like when I'm driving on the highway, I don't have to call AAA if my tire breaks down anymore. I can do it myself. Um, and I love that. I feel capable. So the million dollar question, plans after the course ends. Ah, uh, I actually don't really know. And for the first time in my life, I'm okay with that because I'm kind of a control freak. I like to know when everything's happening. I like plans. I like to-do lists and goals. But one of the things I've learned in Africa is patience. 
Not something I come by naturally at all, but I'm learning it. And what that means for me is, again, trusting in the universe, trusting in the support I've created around me, in this case being eco-training, and trusting in my own abilities that it'll work out the way it's supposed to. So in taking different internships, like my conservation-based internship in Namibia earlier, I realized that that is not something that I really want to go into at this time. But being here with Eco Training and doing media for them and doing photography and film, I'm learning how much I love it. And it was something that I always thought I liked before because I'd done it in Los Angeles. So it's a nice intermixing of my two lives. So again, I'm not exactly sure where it will lead, but I do know I want to stick with photography, wildlife, live in the bush and film and see where that goes. So and I just trust it'll work out and it'll be amazing and fantastic and so fun. So. Mm. <laughs> cool.